The most beloved couple on Brazilian TV, Angelica and Luciano Huck, are ready to surprise the real estate market with a sale that promises to shake up the scene of million-dollar mansions. Get ready to learn all the details of the incredible property that is about to change its hands, as Angelica and Luciano prepare for the next chapter of their lives. Luciano Huck 1971 is a Brazilian television presenter and businessman. Between 2001 and 2021 he presented the program Caldeirao do Huck, on Saturday afternoons. In 2021 he started presenting the program Domingueo Com Huck, which replaced Domingueo do Fostau. Luciano Grostein Huck was born in Sao Paulo, on September 3, 1971. Son of jurist Hermes Marcelo Huck and urban planner Marta Dora Grostein, he grew up in an upper-middle-class family. During his adolescence, Huck was an internet playboy magazine, then run by his stepfather, journalist Mario de Andrade. He worked as an assistant to photographer J. R. Duran. In 1989, Luciano Huck entered the law faculty of the University of Sao Paulo USP, but did not complete the course, as his interest was in communication. At the age of 20, he completed an internship at the agency with Brazil, owned by publicist Washington Oliveto. In 1992, with a group of friends, he opened the Cabral Bar, in the Atame Bibi neighborhood, which soon became a popular spot in the city. Two years later, he already wrote the, Circulando, column in Journal da Tarde and presented a program on Jovem Pan Radio. Presenter Luciano Huck's debut on TV took place when he was invited to present his columnism on the program, Purful, by Otavio Mesquita, on band. In the painting, Electronic Paparazzo, he commented on the excitement of the night parties in bars and clubs in Sao Paulo. Then, Huck launched his own program, Circulando, first shown on CNT Gazeta and later on band. In 1996, also on band, he started to present the daily program, H, aimed at young audiences. The program's audience reached greater points when the characters were launched. Tiazina, Susana Alves and, Phytosira, Joanna Prado, her stage assistants. In September 1999, Luciano Huck was hired by Reed Globo and debuted presenting the, Show da Verada, at Parque do Anhembi, in Sao Paulo. In April 2000, Huck debuted his new program, Caldeirao do Huck, shown on Saturday afternoons. Little by little, Caldeirao won over the public and became an audience leader. Caldeirao do Huck presented several paintings, including Vu de Taxi, Agra o U Nunca, Lar do Se Lar, Lada Vela and Solitrando. Several national and international artists performed on the program, including Ricky Martin, Demi Lovato and Roberto Carlos. On June 15, 2021, Luciano declared that he would take over the Sunday afternoon program, after the departure of presenter Fausto Silva. The last performance of Caldeirao do Huck took place on August 28, 2021. On September 5, the program, Domingo do Huck, went on air. In 2003, Luciano Huck founded the NGO, Instituto Criar de TV, Cinema e Novas Medias, aiming at professional training for young people from underprivileged communities. Located at Rua Solan, 1121, in the Sao Paulo neighborhood of Bom Retiro, Cree has already trained hundreds of students. Luciano produced several films, such as Casa de Aria, 2005, Era Uma Vez, 2008, Quebrando o Tabu, 2011, and Na Quebrada, 2014. Luciano also acted in the films, Shusha Requebrook 1999, Shusha Eos Duendas, 2001 Um Show de Verao, 2004 when he was a romantic partner with presenter Angelica, at which time they started dating. He acted in the film Shusha Mo Misterio da Feirina, 2009, and Until Luck a Separate 3, a Valencia Final, 2015. In 2011, he voiced Flynn Rider in Disney's Tangled. In 2007, the presenter released the book Na Terra, No Sev, No Mar, Viagans de Aventuras du Caldeirao du Huck, where he tells the experiences he had recording attractions for his auditorium program. Luciano Huck has participated in several television commercials and still has contracts with large companies. Luciano invests in companies in the food, tourism, clothing sectors, among others. He has partnerships with several businessmen from Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. Since 2014, Luciano Huck has been taking a position in relation to political life in Brazil. Huck was part of the liberal renewal movement, Agora, whose political guru is former President Fernando Henrique Cardozo. In 2017, there was speculation about his candidacy for the presidency of the republic for the 2018 elections, however, 
In November 2017, Huck announced that he would not run. In 2001, Luciano Huck had a brief relationship with the socialite Chiara Magalhaes and later, with the socialite Astrid Montero de Carvalho. The first time he met Angelica was in 2003 in the hallway of a photography studio, but they were both dating. In 2004 they worked together in the film, A Summer's Dream, and started dating. On October 30, 2004, pregnant with their first child, Angelica and Luciano got married at Marina da Gloria, attended by a priest and a rabbi, as she is Catholic and he is Jewish. The couple has three children. Joaquim, the 3rd of August 2005, Benicio, the 11th of March 2007, and Eva, the 25th of September 2012. An accident marked the life of the Huck family, when on May 24, 2015, they were returning from Pantanal after recording Angelica's special program, Estrellas, the twin engine had a problem and had to make a forced landing near Campo Grande, Mato Grosso do Sul. Another accident shook the family, when on June 22, 2019, Benicio suffered a head injury while wakeboarding in Ila Grande Bay, in Rio de Janeiro. After undergoing surgery, he was left without any sequelae. Have you ever heard about Luciano Huck and Angelica's mansion? One of the most prominent houses in the upscale neighborhood of Rio, the mansion attracts attention. If you love keeping up to date with celebrity news and their way of life, stay with us. Let's talk a little bit about this incredible house that piques the curiosity of many people, those who never dreamed of working on television being successful and earning a lot of money, acquiring cars and mansions, right? This is a very distant reality for most of us. The mansion is 4,200 square meters in size, distributed among the house and other buildings, the pool alone is 280 square meters, think of a large pool. It also has 16 rooms, six of which are suites, only in the couple's room there are two bathrooms and we are fighting in line to take a shower in ours, jokes aside, of these 16 rooms, three are for guests. The house was designed for the couple to live in. It is estimated that it took around two years to build, the couple moved in 2011, the project alone cost an average of 300,000, think of an expensive project. Built on the couple's property by Bernan's architecture, the little chapel enchants with its grandeur and rich details. It's no wonder that it won an important international architecture award called Architizer. It has a 10-meter central cross that supports the entire chapel, the place is not open to the public unfortunately and it is estimated that it cost around 500,000, it was a gift from the presenter who, despite being Jewish, gave it to Angelica, as his love is greater than any religion. 